Hi everyone, it's Julia. I have another thrifted project for you. I picked this up for a dollar at the thrift store and it's a decorator print. Um, and it's irregularly shaped. It's about a yard, but then there's a part of it extra that's cut funny. So it's, you know, you never know what you're gonna get at the thrift store. But I wanna make a pillow cover. I'm gonna use this 18 inch pillow insert. And I really like that tea time and I like that teapot. And so I wanna make sure I get that on my cover. And I just have a few hints and this is a super easy project. But one of the hints is I cut my pillow cover to be the exact size as my pillow insert. So this is cut freezer paper, cut 18 inches by 18 inches. I can see through this freezer paper and I'm just pressing this into place so I get that tea time and that teapot where I want it to be. I find if I cut my pillow top the same as my pillow insert it it makes a nice plump pillow i also want to share at the end of this video how i put my pillowcases on my pillow inserts it's a really slick um, and easy way that i've discovered how to put these in otherwise sometimes you just struggle with it I cut that out and then this freezer paper just peels away really easily and doesn't leave any residue. So my pillow top is cut. Now for the back, and this is gonna be like an envelope style backing on it. So I cut them 12 inches across by that 18 inches. And notice on that one, I did have to piece it, but this, this was fabric was a little bit, like I said before, just kind of irregularly shaped. I'm figuring out which ones, which sides I want for my opening. And I'm just gonna put a pin on those two. And then I'm gonna fold these under. Folding, folding it under approximately a half, a half an inch. And then folding it again. So this is gonna be completely um, finished off. And we'll do the same with the other piece. And then I will be just stitching this down into place. Got those done and now it's a matter of pinning these right sides together and overlapping. I will be stitching this approximately three eighths of an inch away, not quite a half inch. And I do make sure to reinforce where the opening is. I stitched that then, and then I also surged my edge. You can also just use a zigzag or whatever you use to finish off. Turning this now so that the right sides are out, poking out those corners. And then pressing and rolling as I go. Now to insert my pillow, I flop that top back inside out again. And so now I can easily reach or get my pillow into this part of the pillow, of the pillowcase. Just getting that pillow right up into those corners. And once I get this part done, it's as simple as flipping that other side up and over. And then again, just making it nice and um, even in the corners. And that is it, as simple as that. I told you this was an easy one. I'm getting ready for Christmas and I want to wish everybody a Merry, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a chance to spend it with the ones you love. 
have some pictures at the end. Bye, everybody.